Greetings and welcome back, gentles and ladies, men, to another fantastic episode of Exo Plays Super Mario 64 DS. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be wrapping up uh, as much of Dire Dire Docks as we can. Uh, there is one star that we will need Wario to get, and we'll at least need a Wario cap. Is the point? So we need to have unlocked him first. And I know it's that's kind of the problem with Wario is that he's not very useful on his own. So I don't know. Well, scratch that. He's very useful in very specific circumstances that are very limited. Like, he makes such quick work of bullies in this game that it's not even a problem. Like, the big bully bosses especially. But otherwise, his platforming is gimped compared to Mario and Yoshi. So, I don't know. Like, unless if you need him, I never play as Wario. So... But thankfully, you're not forced to play as him, except in very limited circumstances, and you have transformation caps and all that good stuff, so... Uh, it's hard to get too mad about it. So next one I want to do is, there are these treasure chests on the seafloor here, that we need to open a specific sequence, and then it'll allow us to get another star. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of all the stars on this side of the stage first, just so that we don't have to do them later. Um... And there should be one last chest right up here. And that will give us another star. And that's all the stars in this... Uh, actually, scratch that. There is the one up top that we need Wario for, but... As far as... Uh, this is pretty much everything down in this little corner of the stage, so everything else... Will be on the farther side where the submarine was. Actually, there are two Wario stars that we need in this level. And see, we already have enough stars to go f to a uh, TikTok clock and rainbow ride, if you can believe it. Ah, shit, I didn't mean to go here. I don't know, it's... Here's the problem, though, is that if we try... If we exit course normally, it'll take us back to the foyer. Or the foyer, or, you know, I don't speak French. So, yeah. So, it's much faster to just kill yourself and get booted out, and then, so you could just... You wouldn't believe how many times I make that mistake of going into the into Bowser's Trap number two instead of uh, going here to Dire Dire Docks. Because they're right next to each other and they pop you out in front of Bowser's Trap 2. So, yeah. I know it's technically called Bowser in the Fire Sea, but I like to call it Bowser's Trap 2 because that's what my brother and I used to call those stages back when we were young. That's like how I refuse to call it Hazy Maze Cave, because when we were little, our dad called it Hazy Mazy Cave, so that's what we've always called it. And I'm not about to change that now, so deal with it. So this is one star that they changed. You can see that there's a star in a cage down there. In the original game, how they made this work was you, need to, you needed to combine a metal cap and a vanish cap together so that you would be heavy enough to run over to the cage and be transparent so that you could go through it. But because Wario is the only one who can use the metal cap and Luigi's the only one who can use the vanish cap, and because Luigi can swim faster, Luigi could just swim over there. I don't know, maybe it is possible to get into this cage with just the Vanish Cap, I've n in the original version, I mean. I had never tried, but... Yeah, but it was always fun to mix those two caps together. It was one of the most creative stars in the original, and unfortunately, because of the way power-ups work in that game, they had to change it, but... You know, it's, it is what it is, I can live with that. Alright, so there are two stars that we need Wario to get, so we will be skipping those for now and then going straight to Bowser. Did I remember to turn on my timer? remember if I did. Uh, I don't know, we'll set this for however long, and yeah. Depending on where we can get, we might be able to unlock Wario in this part, if, if we play this right. I know, I guess we'll see. So, yeah, so we have these, we have to swim through here again. This won't be the last time, either. I mean, it, it takes all of 30 seconds, you know, but when you have to keep doing it over and over, just because the game arbitrarily boots you out, that's not fun. I don't know what the thought process was there. It's something I legitimately don't understand. Okay, that's a bit strange. Should there's The poles should be here in this level, so I don't know where they are. I guess we'll find out. 
At least the way I remembered it was... Oh, I, I get it. You have to defeat Bowser to make the sub go away. Well, thankfully, because we have Luigi, we don't need to do that. We can just grab everything as is, because this Luigi breaks the game in half. In the best possible way. Alright, so we'll, we'll do that instead. So we'll go over here and grab those guys up there, uh, using that Bullet Bill Cannon as a booster. Bullet Bill Cannons and Bullet Bills look really weird in this game. Like, Bullet Bills are, like, huge in Super Mario 64. And they are much better at homing in on you than I remember them. Alright, so that's another red coin right there. Now we can get that one with a well-timed long jump, and then we can get those other two by simply hopping our way up here. Not to be confused with Kangaroo Jack's little rap song from the film. Uh, I, I never realized, because like when I was a kid, I was like the advertisements for Kangaroo Jack made it look like it was going to be like a funny animal movie. But the talking, the talking uh, Kangaroo Jack and whatnot. And then you go see the movie and it's like this weird mafia movie. And apparently, uh, apparently a lot of kids had the same experience and thought the movie was a ripoff because of that, but... Yeah, so I guess I wasn't the only one who felt like, you know, that's kind of weird. I thought I was going to be seeing a Kangaroo Jack movie, but this is some kind of weird Godfather Down Under kind of movie. Anyways. Uh, I guess there isn't a red coin up there. Which means that this should be the only one back. By the way, this platform did not exist in the original. Ah, shit. I almost made that. But it's like I said, Luigi breaks the game in half. It probably would be faster just to play the stage. I know, but then you have to wait around on the, uh, the poles too, and that's also slow as shit. So it's like you can't win no matter what, so... I might as well do this kind of in a way that the designers didn't intend, because Luigi is so fucking great. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, I almost made it up there. It's like I'm wasting so much time having to swim back up on top of the sub that it's like... You know, that's the thing about sequence breaking, is that if it's not faster than the normal way, then what's the point? You might as well do it the normal way. And, you know, I don't, I don't have it timed out, but I, I suspect that this would be faster if I just did it the, the normal way. Uh, having beat Bowser and whatnot. But, thanks to the power of Luigi's backflip, you can use this little thing as... And then, there we go. That's the power of Luigi in this game, ladies and gentlemen. That's the power of Luigi. The power of Luigi sounds like a fan film or something. Like, fan film on Newgrounds, starring Ruigi. So it looks like we have two left, and those are going to be the Wario ones. So let's go ahead and fight Bowser now. Now this level is ungodly annoying in the original, or as Mario, but once again... We have our Lord and Savior Luigi to play as, and he completely nullifies any issues with this stage. Well, I mean, it still sucks, but it's like, I'm playing as Luigi makes this a lot better. Kill that guy, trust me, that those fucking bullies are such a pain in the butt. Like, bullies are so much more annoying in this remake than I ever remember them being in the original. I'm not really sure what to pin that on. And you can see that I have this kind of habit of, like, stopping in place to reorient the character. And while that is kind of a DS thing, it's also something I do in the, in the original version of the game, because, you know, a lot of people who review the original Super Mario 64 and criticize the controls will always talk about how Mario doesn't seem to really turn from a standstill as quickly as they'd like, like he'll go in, like, a semicircle. And so that's, like, a trick I picked up from the original version of the game, that since Mario and the other characters don't turn as rapidly as you'd prefer, what I prefer to do is just to stop in place for a little bit, and then move in the direction. Then he'll just move directly where you want him to. So that's that's a trick I use in both versions of the game to make it easier. I don't know, maybe, maybe some people consider that like a... Man, I just narrowly survived that trial. And then I died anyway, because fuck this fucking level. Bowser in the Fire Sea sucks. I hate this level so much. Like, I remember my brother 
I think it was during one of the playthroughs, Zebro's playthroughs we did this summer, was telling me about how much he hated Bowser in the fire scene. I'm like, really? That, that's, you don't like that level? Because I hate TikTok Clock and Rainbow Ride and Dire Dire Docks to a lesser extent. Like, Bowser in the Fire Sea was never one of my favorite levels in Super Mario 64, but it was still like... I didn't remember it being like a super annoying piece of crap either. And, by the way, speedrunning Pro Strat that still carries over to the DS version, it is much faster to just use the, the recoil from the lava there to bounce you back up and... than to actually try to do it the regular way, so... And there's the other one up here. Yeah, but, yeah, but those, those bullies can still be annoying. Alright, so then we'll use this to bounce our way back up to the top. Or not, because fuck this. There we go. And then we'll just walk our way over here. Like, these... These Bowser stages, as far as, like, linear platforming section go sections go, are okay. Still not my favorite thing. By the way, uh, just while I remember, there was something that I was, uh, I was considering trying. Is that there is actually a Super Mario 64 DS ROM hack out there. I don't know, maybe a couple actually. I don't know if it's any good. Like if, if it's well designed around the, the limitations of this remake or whatever, but it is something that I would be interested in checking out. And I know that people wanted me to continue streaming, um, that one Mario hack, whose name I can't remember, that was developed by someone named Skilux. I can remember the name of the person who made it, but not the name of the hack. For some reason, that, that's eluding uh, uh, me at the moment. But is that something that people would be interested in seeing me play on stream? Because I'd be willing to give that a shot if people are up for it. Alright, once again, Luigi wins at everything. It's kind of funny how Luigi is always, like, his character is that he's, like, the less accomplished brother who people don't think much of. But he's always better to play as than Mario in every game he's in. Like, always, without fail. I don't know, I guess it's more debatable in something like Smash, but still, you guys, you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Like, the only drawback to Luigi in this game... Oh, that was so close. I almost, I almost fucking died there. Alright, so we're gonna hop our way up here, much like Kangaroo Jack. Why do I keep referencing Kangaroo Jack, of all things, on this playthrough? Alright, so that's, that's the red coin star. Now we have the, uh, switch star to go take care of. Alright, so we... So the switch star will activate, and then that's where the power star will be. And once again, we don't have to platform around if Luigi can just use his broken backflip to cross over everything and avoid it all in one fell swoop. Because Luigi is the win button in this game. And I have absolutely no problem with that. I, trying to do this with Mario is so annoying, so there's no way I was going to play this level as him. Luigi makes this level so much better, and you know, I'd use him on the final boss too, but like I said, you have to play as Mario to fight the final boss. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, now, now that we've done that, we can use a couple of well-timed backflips to get up here. There we go, and then just run over here, and now we'll go fight the second Bowser boss. And I'm gonna kill my throat again. <clears throat> Pestering me again, are you? Can't you see that I'm having a merry old time making mischief with my minions? No, return the stars. I stole them first, and my troops in the walls need them. <laughs> Alright, so he'll kick this off by rotating the platform downwards. But thanks to Luigi's broken backflip, you guys know the rest. It's like, I really have to wonder if people consider Luigi OP in this game or if they consider him like a welcome, a welcome addition. Like personally, I like playing as him a lot. It's one of the reasons why I prefer this version. But it's like the more that I analyze what Luigi can do, the more I'm like, wow, he really does break this game in half. Anyways, we've already beat Bowser again because these bosses suck. 
Oh, can it be that I've lost? The power of the stars has failed me. This time. Consider this a draw. Next time I'll be in perfect condition. Now if you want to see your precious princess come to the top of the tower, I'll be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. It didn't wreck, uh, do too much devastation to my voice this time, so. Yeah. Alright, so, we've completed Dire Dire Docks, we fought Bowser, and we have the key to the third floor. So I say that that's as good a place as any to cut things off for the session. Uh, join me in the next session, and we'll unlock Wario. We'll start the, sorry, the second tier of stages in the game. And, um, yeah. So until then, I'm Exo, and I'll see you guys next time.